and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Everybody, calm down, please. <laughs> More phony than usual tonight, right? <laughs> what I quite liked was you sit, standing in the front row, because everyone else was really trying hard, and you're like, uh, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared too. <laughs> Why are you scared, Craig? Because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> And it's gonna sting, but you're gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did something I haven't done for a long time ago. Yesterday, I actually watched the show a little bit, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, haven't, I really haven't watched it for years, because what's the point? I know how it turns out, but I said, uh, oh, well, you know what? I should watch it. And I, I watched a tiny little bit, like, like at the beginning, and when I walked up to the camera, and I went, oh! <laughs> So, uh, for all these people that have been watching all these years, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I'll stay at a respectful distance. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> it is. It is a great day. Not, not a great day for the internet search engine Yahoo. <laughs> No, their original uh, founder resigned. If you want to know more about the situation, you should probably Google it. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kirsten Wigg said she's not going to make any, uh, any Bridesmaid sequel. She's not going to do it. And I'm like, wow, that is very refreshing to see some people in Hollywood still have the artistic integrity to turn down lots of money. Leaves more for sluts like me. <laughs> oh, I'll do your Bridesmaid sequel. I'll be in it. I'll put a dress on. I've got my own. <laughs> <laughs> Am I yelling a bit tonight? I, mean, <laughs> I realised I was yelling, yelling and standing close. I'm like a really, I'm kind of like an insane person. <laughs> you never told me. It's when I watch the show and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if people are watching this show for entertainment or for science. <laughs> it's like, well, who's that yelling guy? And then I look at my hair tonight and I'm like, do I look like Tintin? <laughs> No, I don't know if I look like Tintin. Or, do you wish, Grandpa, you look like Tintin? Or like Can Can. Because, you know, that, that's older. <laughs> anyway, look, I'll, I'll try and stay back a bit, is what I'm saying. I can't help myself. It was, did you watch The American Idol uh, tonight? I did, because we are live. I watched it before we came out. Shut up. And I... <laughs> Wasn't it fantastic? You know, I loved it when that guy was like, I will always love you. And Randy was like, no, dog, dog. It sounded like a dog, 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 etc. <laughs> the first couple of uh, episodes of American Idol are usually the highest rated of the season because there is something magical about watching people with dreams beyond their talent going on... <laughs> Going on, they, watching them go on national television and having those dreams crushed. <laughs> That's entertainment. <laughs> it's not the only reason people watch Idol. They, they love the new judges. I, I love the new judges. Steven Tyler, Jennifer Lopez. They're awesome. Do we have a picture of Steven Tyler? There he is. And... <laughs> uh, you have a picture of uh, Jennifer Lopez. We got Jennifer Lopez. There, there, there. There's Jenny from the block. Show me that again. Do, don't be fooled by the rocks that he's got. <laughs> They're testicles. <laughs> it's a dude. It's Mar Mar Hey, Mario, what's up? It's just a joke, man. Don't get mad. <laughs> hey, I, I don't think I'd be a very good judge. I was a musician, but I was a crap musician. <laughs> 
would like to create a reality show. I want to do this. I actually would like to do this. I've been pitching it to CBS. I, I want to make a show about people, you know, that do the thing I'm passionate about. But so far, the network's like, I don't know. I, I, it's great. I'm going to call it, So You Think You Can Carve a Soap Dildo. <laughs> Everybody's got to have a hobby! <laughs> Makes me feel dirty and clean at the same time. <laughs> That's pretty rude, isn't it? That's pretty rude. The core of my distaste for American Idol, and I do have it, is because it teaches, I think, the wrong things to the kids. It teaches aspiring singers a dangerous lesson, it, that, that, you know, which is that you need someone else's permission to pursue your dreams. You don't. And even worse, that karaoke is cool. It's not. <laughs> if you want to be a singer, sing! You don't need to ask someone to be singing like masturbation. You should do it every day in the shower. And then, <laughs> then perhaps at work or while driving or on stage in front of an audience or around the campfire or on a street corner for nickels. <laughs> American Idol assumes that becoming a huge music star is all about pure vocal ability, and that is not true. You also need a certain amount of je ne sais quoi. <laughs> uh, which I think uh, je ne sais quoi is French for big boobies. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, over the years some of the great contestants have been on Idol. Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Hudson, my favourite, that hung guy. What's his name? Clay Aiken. The, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, don't you be dissing Clay. The rumours are true. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, American Idol hasn't launched too many huge music careers, except Ruben Studdard. That's a pretty big... <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I doubt American Idol will ever be successful in manufacturing pop stars. Americans like their pop stars the old-fashioned way, you know, from the Disney Channel. That's how they like to get it. <laughs> See, I, I think that that's a problem with the whole American Idol process. It removes uh, for that thing from musicians that I think is essential for, for a great musical career, which is a sense of rebellion. See, an iconoclasm. I'm serious. I'm an old guy. I'm not supposed to want rebellion. Yet here I am. Kids, I'm inviting you to turn up your damn music. I'm saying to you, get on my lawn. <laughs> Was, was like this back in the day. In the 1970s, Colombians had to form drug cartels because no single dealer could meet the demands of Aerosmith. <laughs> That's how it started. They were badass, but like all of us, they got old. Now the guy who sang Dude Looks Like a Lady actually looks like a lady. <laughs> It's really ironic. It's like, it's like if MC Hammer actually let you touch this. <laughs> or, or, if, uh, or if Jerry Lee Lewis's balls actually caught fire. <laughs> you watch the American Idol, Jack? Oh, big fan. No, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, who was your favorite act tonight? No, it's all. Yeah. <laughs> Man, don't hey, be hey, man. Hey, you got a nickel by any chance? <laughs> You're not singing, Jeff, which means <gasps> how dare you wash your mouth out with soap? <laughs> oh, I, I suppose you've already done that, haven't you? Um, several times. <laughs> I like it when you talk like that. I like it when you talk like that. Well, I'll talk like this a little more. I like the way you talk. <clears throat> I like French fried taters. I like carved dildo out of soap. <clears throat> Makes me feel dirty and clean at the same time. Want to do the commercial? <clears throat> I say, you want to? Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you want to do the commercial? Sure thing, Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Looks like Liza Minnelli, tastes like haggis. More Craig Ferguson after this.